hold on. I'm, if I'm gonna give respect to something being in frame, it's gonna be the original Ruffles, because... Hey, this is Ben with Go Hunt, here for another Wild Game Friday. So what I'm cooking today are elk smash burgers. This is a recipe that was sent to me by one of our insiders, Lawrence A. from Virginia. Thank you very much. I, uh, I made this with my wife last weekend. We thought out a bunch of elk burger. We were gonna do like burgers for lunch and stroganoff for dinner. When we had these for lunch, my wife, who doesn't like to eat the same thing in a short period of time, I was like, hey, can we just do that again for dinner? Cause it was delicious. It's not my recipe, but I am sharing it. So any other insiders who have awesome wild game recipes, please share them with us. And you may see it on one of these wild game Fridays. Just send it on over to content at gohunt.com. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I'm making elk smash burgers. I'm gonna start with making my fancy spice blend, which is salt and pepper. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to the sauce. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So we got just normal pepper. We got lemon pepper and black pepper. Uh, big, big pepper grinder guy. The extra like flavor and, and uh, smell you get from it's just awesome. Uh, then I like garlic salt, Lowry's is king. And uh, yeah, so we'll just start off. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna end up with 50-50 uh, salt and pepper. So I'm gonna do a bit of grinding. If this is me just doing this for my wife at home, I do it all ground because I'm particular like that. I'm cooking for a whole office, I'm making a bunch of food. I'm not grinding pepper for three hours. So we'll just hit it a little bit just to get it kind of interesting, make a mess on the table, and then just dump in a bunch more. Got that. I guess I'll stir it up with a spoon because why not? Let's get it nice and, and, nice and uh, mixed up. You're gonna just put this on the burger, right? Not a surprise, but you just want it nice and mixed so the flavor's good. You don't have one that's like super salty, one that's just super peppery, not enough salt. Uh, so next up is gonna be the sauce we have here. I just pulled out a little Dijon mustard. We got some sriracha going, need some ketchup. Here's the mayo, that's gonna be our base. I don't know if this is a controversial opinion, but it's gotta be best foods or it's gotta be craft. Anything else, it's not worth it. So got some uh, chili powder. This is Chamayo red chili from New Mexico. Delicious. We got Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I don't know if anybody on the planet can pronounce this. So we're gonna put it all in a bowl. So we got this guy, I'm gonna start with the mayo. Do not have measurements for you. I just do it by eye. So however you like to mix stuff, I'm like, I like a bit of mustard for some tang, not a big, not a huge mustard guy. So I only go a little bit. Maybe you love mustard, go hog wild. You know, it's up to you. So we got some sriracha going. Get that in there. And get some chili powder. Done, ketchup. Perfect, that's the sound you want. That's how you know you really got a good score to ketchup. All right, Worcestershire tire, Worcestershire tire sauce. That looks good. And just mix it on up. So you'll see when we get to cooking the actual burgers. For these, like part of the, the greatness of of smash burgers to me is like, there's so much flavor in there. You don't have to add a lot of stuff. So I'm a big fan of just like having the bottom bun, just the sauce on it. And then the rest is just patty cheese um, bun. We got a bunch of other stuff, as you can see, you know, we got other people who are gonna be enjoying burgers their way. You know, they can make mistakes, it's fine, but we're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna do just sauce, burger, bun. Kind of chunky, break it up, ba, ba, ba. Doesn't matter. This isn't a restaurant, that works. So, let's grab our elk burger. Pulled out three packs for the office. Um, and then we're just gonna make balls with it. Do like quarter pound for each one. We're just gonna make balls up, up front. Three of these might've been overkill, we'll see. So each one of these will probably do about seven burgers. Uh, so, I mean, making the balls is important for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I mean, you have to have meat to put on the grill. Two, when you work with your hands, like you want to get it kind of warmer so you can screw up cooking a burger really easy if it's cold. Like if it's like a refrigerator temperature, it's not going to cook through all the way the way you want it to. It's going to be like colder in the center than the outside. So get it room temperature if you can. We don't put salt on yet. So here's the thing about these burgers um, and about burgers in general. If you, when you put salt on, it starts taking uh, liquid out. So you wait to put on the salt until you're about to put them on the grill. Right before you put them on the grill, that's when you salt them. Another important thing about the burger meat, you don't want it to be too lean. When you do these smash burgers, you want them to kind of cook on their own fat. They're gonna caramelize on the edges because it's super hot heat. The fat helps with it. You want a decent amount of fat, not too much. 80-20 uh, is usually good. So I always get all my hamburger mixed uh, with 20% pork fat. So that's what these are here. 
One other thing, you know, no disrespect to Lawrence, my recipe is a little bit different than his because I don't believe his has any sauce. So I think he's even more of a traditionalist. So sorry, Lawrence. You know, life evolves, recipes evolve. Try with some sauce. Try, maybe you'll try with my sauce. Maybe like, you know what, this is the right way. Let me know, Lawrence. I got all my, all my gear here. All my, what they need for cooking. Got, uh, apparently it's a Bobby Flay set, which means I think I'll be better with it. Or maybe it'll make me better, I don't know. So we got my spatula. Got the tools of the trade, right? Got my spatula. Now, for smash burgers, you don't want to smash it with a slotted spatula. Uh, it'll smush right through, right? Makes sense. They make like giant spatulas because they also squishes out pretty wide. So they make giant spatulas. I'm not buying a spatula just for burgers. I'm not doing it. You know, I have a spatula, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do instead is I got a pot from home. I got a potato masher. That's all I need. I'm gonna throw these on there. I'm gonna smash them down. I'll use this to flip them. That's it. Got the Traeger fired up. Got a griddle on there. Again, you need a flat surface because these are smash burgers. Got buns. I don't really care about my buns. Like I just go to the store and get whatever's cheapest. Uh, there was an audience request for brioche buns. We got some brioche buns. Uh, another very important part of the recipe is the cheese, right? It's a cheeseburger. So, you know, I love America. Don't love American cheese. It's not good. It tastes bad. Don't put it on your burgers. Put cheddar on your burgers. I, this is for the trash. So this is the cheese we're gonna use. It's cheddar cheese. It's just great. It melts great, tastes great. That's all you need. Wait to salt until you're about to put it on. You don't wanna draw the moisture out of the burger early. Salt one side to salt the top. Just give it, give it some love. And then uh, salt side goes down, smash it, salt the other side. Here we go. Get some butter on there. This is gonna be way too hot. <laughs> uh, get the butter on the griddle. Oh yeah, that's gonna burn immediately. All right, cool, we got that. We got a burger. Salt side down. So we're gonna grab this guy, we're gonna smash it down. There we go, we got burger number one. Luckily we got three ready. We get this guy going, smash it down. Again, you wanna smash it for like 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and salt this one while it's smashing. Salt it. Cool. Let that ride for a little bit. Just let it go. So you only want to smash it the first time. All right, so these are going to cook up real quick. It's super fast. It's like a minute, minute and a half on the first side. You get more caramelization of the meat. You get better flavor. You're locking in juices. Let this go. Once we flip it, we're going to put cheese on. Let's grab this one. Got this guy. Throw our cheese on. Two different ways to deal with your buns. Some people like to toast their buns. I'm a big bun toaster on, on a lot of burgers. With these though, because they're so juicy, I like throwing the bun on immediately and getting the other one on there. You get some of the steam from there, it kind of softens up the bun. It's a good move. Here's the thing though, this is kind of the point of no return for the bun. Once you get this on there, that top bun's gonna get all the melted cheese with it in the burger, it makes it delicious, but you're not gonna put toppings between those two unless you wanna tear up your burger. So, uh, you can do this, you can toast your buns. It's America, free country, do what you want. They're both good options. So, this is good. So we got this going on, and grab this off. I'm actually gonna leave this on for a second. Grab the bottom bun, grab our sauce, get it on there, however much you like. Big sauce guy, put a lot on. And then grab it, get it on there. That's it, you got some burgers, you know? If you're big into toppings, put them on there. Just put them uh, between the bottom bun. And, uh, oh my God, that's so good. It's, uh, I can't decide which one I wanna eat. They both look great. So you can see it's all nice and thin. You wanna smash it down to about, I probably should have done this when I was smashing it, but you wanna smash it down like a quarter inch, eighth inch. Like you want it real, real thin. It's gonna look like it's way bigger than the bun. Hamburger like contracts while it cooks. It's gonna get smaller. Trust the process. Squish it way flat, way wide out. It's gonna fit on your bun just fine. Where it go? 
It's a little dry. Left on there too long. Next one, I'll do better. Mmm, that's so good. So the sauce is, you know, adds a little bit more fat, a little bit of heat, a little bit of flavor. Well, I threw that burger. It's so good. All right, so yeah, that's the uh, the elk smash burger. I made it with my elk from Utah that I took last month. Uh, this is uh, the world famous recipe. Thank you again, Lawrence, our insider from uh, Virginia. You're the man. Uh, if you have recipes that you want to share, you want to see us cook, or maybe you want to cook it yourself, shoot us a line. We'd love to see more recipes, try them out. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Neville's trying to make our YouTube channel awesome. And uh, if you like and subscribe to the channel, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to make his day. He'll appreciate you personally. He's going to know who you are. He's going to appreciate you. Like and subscribe. Make some burgers. Eat some burgers. Don't use American cheese on them. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Uh-huh. Thank you. You bet. Woo. All right. Cheers. Oh.